Today, 19 December 2017, this uh, dwarf hamster came in with very bad cellulitis, we call it, of the lower body, from uh, arising from a long standing infection and dampness. You can see it's very bad. Okay, let the hamster come, uh, put down the hamster, let's see the top part. The top part. Let, let it move, you know, You can see the top part. top part is not so bad. They still had there, and uh, the owners was not able to take care of the infection, so we have to treat it here. Now let's look at the other hamster. We, we put it back first. We put this back into the cage first, in case it jumps off. Yeah, go back into the cage. Let's see the other hamster, which which has a less problem of cellulitis. I just. Bring the whole cage here, can we? You see the hamster now. Just uh, this hamster is the main, main complaint is actually the neck below below the neck inflamed and the armpits and the el uh, the elbows also. Let's turn upside down and see. Now this one is easier to treat. As you can see, there is uh, still hair there. There is still hair below the belly and there's a bit of the inflammation is actually the elbows you see it armpit and elbow both sides now we slowly check now this, this fellow is a bit overweight as well you can see inflammation very nicely now to this one definitely is it's not having cellulitis it's the main problem is the elbow inflamed and the and the both elbows and arm armpits as to the cause, it's hard to say, but uh, it could be due to due to uh, food allergies or or some chemicals. You can see the hair is still there. You can see from this one, so the belly is, is not uh, affected. The hair is there co compared to the other hamster. So these are the two cases of uh, ventral dermatitis. But this one is only the neck. I put it down. Uh, you can see. So let's see the part where the ear was operated. The, the this one, the owner had been to the other vet for treatment of a wound. Uh, I remember this case. The wound was uh, was very uh, unable to heal. It was bleeding. Now, Doctor Dana cut off that wound, which actually is a is a small lump and a stitch up. And now, now, somebody about a month later. The owner is quite pleased. They see it, put the ear a bit. You can see the scar. Turn a bit towards the light because there's not much light. Uh, you can see the scar, the bit of dent there. And there's no more complaint of the bleeding and scratching in this side. So this is the follow up as well. The the the, the left ear, there's nothing actually. Uh, the ear what? Ear what? Uh, ear what was removed. And okay, so now the main complaint is below, right? The armpits. Yeah. I show the armpits again, and and there's a separate matter. Although, although we did tell the owner there are two subcutaneous tumors below the armpits, poignancy. But uh, whether this is the cause of this itchiness or not, the owner asked me. I wouldn't know. You see there? There's one here. Okay, then is there another one on the other side? No more. One only. One only. Okay, so I don't think it's due to that. So these two are hospitalized. And uh, you will follow up. Both will be anesthetized and clean up. Yeah. Have a bath.